I do not want to do an apartment tour right when I'm about to move out. Welcome to the apartment tour. How you doing? Did you smile today? My name is Erin and before we get started, number one, I moved from Detroit, Michigan to New York City, New York. It's been eight months. Number two, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe and turn the notification bell. Number three, I am a Columbia University student. I'm in grad school and this is technically student housing but it's my apartment. I live by myself because i don't want to deal with roommates anymore this is a studio apartment i live on the first floor it is 332 square feet very very itty bitty it's located pretty close to campus but i'm not going to tell you where exactly and the biggest question is how much is rent rent is one thousand five hundred sixty three dollars and forty two cents yes one five six three point forty two before you tell me how expensive it is, I know it's New York City. So without further ado, let me show you guys my apartment. So I'm standing by the front door and this is what you see when you first walk in. You can see the entire unit. This is the front entrance. So I got this mat from Target. These hooks are from the Dollar Tree. This is where I hang up my mask, my keys. If anybody comes over, they can hang up their mask, their keys. I like for shoes to be off. So this shelf is from Target that I assembled. These are all my shoes. This pumpkin is when I went to the pumpkin patch vlog in September. This pumpkin has been alive since September. There is no rotting going on. And you guys know that I love October and I love fall. So this is why I kept the pumpkin for so long. We're gonna make our way to like the filming area first. So you guys already know this is where I filmed. I have all these cushions from Home Goods. These pillows are from Home Goods, and this blanket is from Home Goods. This is just screaming fall vibes. I would sit here to study, to read, to film, and I like that all of these pillows come with zippers. So if I want to switch them out, then I can. And these curtains are also from Home Goods. This is Charlie the Plant. You guys have seen him grow so far. He's gotten really, really big. And this is the newest addition. This is Susie the snake plant. Both of these plants have been a gift and I'm so glad that they're still alive. <laughs> Going to our right, you see this artwork that my best friend gifted me. It says focus on the good. It has my favorite color purple and an elephant, which is my favorite animal. And going over to the left, you see my bookshelf. This entire bookshelf is from the container store. So on the first level, you see my sunglasses, my prayer box. Whenever I'm stressed, I write down my prayers and some cards that my grandma has sent me. The second shelf has like lip gloss, lip balms, nail stuff, a little bit of makeup in here, and some books that I like to read. The third shelf contains some more books. This is the artwork that I made. This little elephant holds my jewelry and some coins. This was also a gift. On the fourth shelf, you see more makeup stuff. This is my makeup palette and my makeup pouch. This is from BH Cosmetics. And on the very last shelf, you see my notebook for school, my journal, my planner. And this is also my backpack. And this is the filming area. So we're gonna move over to pretty much like the bedroom slash dining room. So typically people like to have like their bedroom and maybe like a love seat or couch or like a coffee table but I opted for a dining room set. I do work from home and I also am a Columbia student, so I like to study here, do my homework here, have my Zoom sessions here, eat here. I don't like to eat in my bed. So this entire set is from Amazon, all four chairs and the glass table. And these placemats are from Home Goods, and my candles are usually from Home Goods, Bath and Body Works, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. It kind of depends. So over here, of course, this is where I sleep. So this bed is from Ikea. The mattress is also from Ikea. The sheet set is from Target, but this comforter is from Marshalls along with the pillows. The burger pillow is from Dave & Buster's. This was a prize that I won. And you guys always ask me about this. So like, this is like an arcade game 
prize. Over here is my nightstand. This is also from Ikea. I have my book, my MacBook, my remotes, controllers, water, candle. This lamp is from Home Goods. So this remote controls these fairy lights and these fairy lights are from Amazon. I use clear command hooks to hang these up on the wall. And right now they're fading in and out to like different colors. But of course it could be a solid red, green, blue, white. They could be orange, they could be purplish. They can be pinkish, they can be yellow. It really depends on the vibe, how I have these colors set up and how I have the lights turned off. I'll show you guys like my nighttime vibe at the end of this. So moving over to the right, this is where I watch TV. This TV was gifted from my parents. This dresser is from Ikea. This is my ring light. I'll also have that link down below. Up here, it's so cute. So this shelf is from Target. This is artwork that I've made. This is thing one and thing two. These are my succulents. This was gifted from my sister. This is my diffuser. It comes with eucalyptus. And when you turn it on, of course water comes out and it smells like eucalyptus in here and it also changes colors. And it's just very soothing at night. So I'm moving over to the left. This is my closet. I only have one closet. So this is my shopping cart. You kind of need to have this when you come to New York just in case you have to walk and you don't feel like carrying anything. So this is from Target. And this is just some Halloween decoration that I didn't want to get rid of because you guys know I love fall. I love October. I love Halloween. Now my closet is messy. Please do not judge me. But inside you guys know that I'm moving. So back there are some boxes. But these are all my clothes hanged up. This is my air mattress. This is the suitcase. Laundry basket. Up here is just a bin with like miscellaneous stuff. I don't really gravitate to that often. Up here is a basket with another miscellaneous stuff like my electric blankets. More masks back there. Some like hand sanitizer and stuff is back there. And also under my bed I have two suitcases that couldn't fit into the closet. So this suitcase has like stuff that I gravitate towards often so I can just pull it out. It has like little laundry detergent, extra toilet paper and stuff like that. And under here is another suitcase that has leftover candles because I have a big candle collection. And now we're going to go to the kitchen. So of course we have the fridge, the oven, and some cabinets. On the fridge you see like these Hershey magnets that I got from the Hershey store in Times Square. And I really want to collect more magnets and really like just fill this out. So my fridge is pretty empty, pretty messy. You know, just imagine a college student's fridge. But what I do love is like this rack right here that's included to hold cans. I don't really drink canned stuff that often, but I thought this was like really, really cool. You can see that there's like cabinets everywhere, but there's no drawers. And that's why I bought a kitchen cart but first over here in this first cabinet is where I have all my containers I could barely reach this but I have like mixing bowls and like Tupperware up here and extra seasoning and rice over here I have like oils and syrup and sandwich bags and freezer bags and things like that down here I have all my dishes almost Everything inside my kitchen is from Walmart, by the way, but this plate rack is from Marshall's, but my plates, my bowls, most of these mugs and these mason jars are from Walmart. These wine glasses are from Marshall's. Down here, this towel rack is from Marshall's. This white container is from the dollar store and they come like packs of two for a dollar. So that's why I have a bunch of little white containers everywhere. Down here is where I keep most of my cleaning supplies, you know, like Clorox wipes, extra soap and Windex and things like that, trash bags, my bucket and dust pan is in there, the broom and the mop is in the closet. And going back up here, it's pretty empty right now because I'm moving out again, but it has like spices and you know, other pantry items like peanut butter, crackers, tuna, noodles, things like that. And this is my best friend. This is my stool that I used to even get up there in the first place because I'm just so shorts trash can and moving over to my kitchen cart this kitchen cart is from home depot so over here i'll have like extra towels over here i'll have you know the oven mitts this is my candy bowl for halloween time this artwork was a gift to my grandma this is my fruit bowl this vase from the thrift store i usually have like roses or like just different flowers sticking out of it microwave from walmart nutribullet was a gift french press pots and pans were either a gift or from walmart and here's all my silverware utensils and over here's all my spoons and my measuring cup chip bag clip cutting boards and things like that so this entire thing is really handy so that I don't have to constantly, you know, climb up there all the time. So I'll like chop my vegetables up here and it also is on wheels so I can move it over if I needed to. But last but not least is the bathroom. <music> 
So starting with the rug, the rug is from Target. This is from Home Goods, a trash can. Toilet paper rack is from Marshalls. Toilet stuff is from the Dollar Tree. And this entire rack above the toilet is from Home Goods. So here I have extra tiles and like just napkins for when I wash my face. Up here is all the beauty stuff pretty much. So this, you know, shampoo, conditioner, deep conditioners, oils and this pouch has all my tools you know brushes combs tangling brushes lock jewelry things like that over here i have like styling products and leave-in conditioners and mousse and heat protectant and <laughs> shampoo and conditioner leave-ins cream oil stuff for my edges gels back there on the next shelf i took a candle and i filled it with q-tips you know trying to reduce reuse recycle so over here mouthwash lotion Febreze spray bottle and this pouch has all my scrunchies hair ties bobby pins things like that and wipes over here around my mirror are my purple Halloween lights and I just thought these would be cute right here So I have like a medicine cabinet. It's just so cool to me. It's not organized at all but face wash, deodorant, moisturizing stuff. I've been trying black soap recently appears on my tea stuff Don't worry about it. It's not organized at all. It appears all the medicine, you know Tylenol Check your temperature, make sure that you wear your mask, be safe you guys, get a vaccine if you can. Pepto-Bismol, allergy medicine, cold medicine, anything up here that I need, I have it. And going down, I do have storage down here. So in here I have like hair color, like hair products I don't really use. I like the honey pot wipes. I have, you know, pads, tampons, panty liners. This is my first aid kit, of course. A mirror for when I do my hair into the shower. Shower caps, extra band-aids, and just random stuff is back here. Behind the door is my towel rack. I got this from TJ Maxx. And over here is, you know, my shower curtain. It's a shower curtain. So this shower curtain is from Amazon. Down here I have these little white shower weights, which are also from Amazon because don't you just hate it when the shower curtain touches you? Disrespectful. And back here is nothing special at all. I ain't got my washcloth up there. Shower cap is right there. And just shower stuff is up here, you know, honey pot, EOS, a razor, you know, body wash, soap, things like that. And this shower head is from Amazon. It comes with, I think, eight different settings to spray out, so which is pretty cool. And that was my entire apartment, studio apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Being in New York is something different, man. Like, I, I still don't feel like it's real, to be honest. Everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below. All links will be down below. Unless it's from like Home Goods, Marshalls, or TJ Maxx, those items are usually, if you see in the store, then you buy it. But they don't really have them on the websites, like first come, first serve type of thing. But anything from Target, Walmart, Ikea, whatever else that I mentioned will definitely be linked down below. It's just been so nice living by myself for the first time. I do want to tell you guys like some roommate stories if you're interested in that, like roommate horror stories. And like if you're interested in knowing like what's it like to be in New York by yourself, what's it like to be in New York by yourself during a pandemic, <laughs> what's it like to be a student at Columbia, things like that. If you guys are interested in those type of videos, let me know down below. I'll deliver them. But yeah, this brings me to the end of this video. I'm just really excited to move, just elevate to bigger and better things. Like this is a nice space. But I'm ready to see what next year's space will have to offer. So I am going back home to Detroit, Michigan. So when you guys like just see the shift, you'll know the videos are starting to be filmed in Detroit back in my childhood room. But I'll be back in New York. Don't worry, I'll, I'll be back by like September, August, around that time. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I thank you so, 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 so much for all the love and support. Give it a big old thumbs up, a like, comment down below, subscribe. I love you guys, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.